Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for December 2021. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. And in the next video I will be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always there's links to the assets in the description and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also right now Unity is having their end of year sale. There's over 8000 assets on sale including many that have never been discounted previously. If you've been watching these asset highlight videos for the past couple of months and adding some things to your wishlist, chances are some of those are now discounted. And there's also a bunch of interesting humble bundles for game devs. There's one with a bunch of courses for learning Blender 3D modeling. I'm currently going through these myself, learning the basics. Then there's another one with tons of UI elements, lots of sliders, buttons and so on. Another one with lots of music. And a final one with tons of sound effects. Check them all out with the links in the description. Alright, so starting off with an interesting tool if you need some fluffy furry characters. Very, very impressive results. Visually it looks really unique and it works on both desktop and mobile. It works with any shader and your fur can even be slightly transparent and there are no zed sorting issues. You can groom the hair in any way you want, either with individual layers or by clumping them together. It also supports Olympic grooms, although I have no idea what that means. So if your game has some furry characters or maybe just some armor with a bunch of fur, then maybe this asset can help add a nice bit of polish to your game. And up next, here's a really awesome one that I'm surprised I've never seen before. It's called 27 Slicer, which is the same thing as a normal Sprite 9 Slicer, but applied to 3D. If you don't know what is 9 Slicing, that is how you can set up your sprites in the Sprite Editor, and you set it up with 9 slices, and it automatically resizes the sprite to any shape and all of the corners keep their aspect ratio. Meaning that the sprite is never stretched in the corner, only in the middle, so it always looks right. This one does exactly that, but applied to 3D. Like I said, a really interesting tool, and I'm surprised this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Sounds like it would be extremely useful. I guess maybe the only issue is that it's limited to things where this sort of resizing makes sense. So it's perfect for couches, tables, rugs, doors, windows. And of course it probably only looks good with a low poly art style. I definitely would like to try this one out to see how the setup works. I can definitely see this as being extremely useful, especially like I said if you have a low poly style game. Then if you want to add split screen to your games, here's a nice tool. It works perfectly, the transition from double camera to single camera is really seamless. Naturally this is perfect for split screen multiplayer, but could also work for a single player game where you control multiple units. The split is created automatically and rotates around based on the camera angle. And one of the issues with double cameras is of course double the rendering, so thankfully this one also has a feature for automatic mount sampling in order to make it really performant even on low end devices. And up next another super useful tool, this one for 2D. It lets you dynamically create shapes directly inside of Unity. So you place down some points and some curves to make any shape that you want. Then easily with one click you can generate the mesh with as much or as little fidelity as you need. You can tint it with any solid color or even use a texture. It includes an easy to use UV editor so you can make it look exactly as you want. Or you can even tint it with a gradient without having to manually make a texture. In the end you can either use the mesh or convert it into a simple image. Quite a nice tool that I can see with tons of possible use cases. Then if you're like me and you don't like the process of populating a level then maybe this tool might help. It's a tool to help with level building like so many others, but what it does differently is it automatically finds prefabs that relate to whatever you currently have selected. So if you select a tree it shows you all of the various trees. For me that's always the issue, I just end up copy pasting pretty much the same asset over and over again because it's really annoying to constantly keep finding new ones. But with this one apparently that process becomes really easy. It's got a custom inspector with a search function, there's the ability to tint objects for finding them easily, and there's even a connection to the asset store to help you find even similar assets. Then for another 2D tool, here you have some diggable terrain, perfect for any side-scrolling game where you want to enable the player to build out their level. So maybe a mining game, kind of like Terraria or SimWorld Dig, or maybe even something like Worms. You set up the terrain shape using the sprites you want for the film texture and the various edges, then the player can easily dig in that area. Includes 9 different terrain types and a nice cartoony art style. Then here's a very unique tool, a transform changes debugger. This one is meant to help you debug your transforms when they're acting weird. 
It essentially hooks into all of the transform functions and keeps track of how it changed and from where those changes came from. It's also a visual tool in order to make it very easy to visually see on all of the frames which had more actions than usual. So at a glance you can probably find the issue right away just by seeing which frame had more actions than it's supposed to. This one is really a problem that I've never really encountered myself, but if this happens to you then I can see this as being quite useful. And up next, if you have some blurry textures and no access to the originals or you just don't have it in high resolution, then here's an AI powered resizer. It does exactly what you expect, takes your blurry low res textures and upscales it using AI. The screenshots on the store page look very impressive, complex images and all of the detail is preserved in the high res version. It lets you batch generate and override the originals, so with just one button you can instantly fix all of the low res textures in your game. The API can even be used in runtime, so maybe if you receive some user images in your game, you can use this to uprise them. Then here's a nice visual tool, a stadium crowd generator. You can dynamically generate the crowd on the stands, use from multiple materials to get it looking like a football stadium or maybe boxing or NASCAR. You control how the audience looks and reacts to the game. You can color them and offset the animation to make it all look very natural. And it's even optimized with GPU instancing, so it's very performant. And then if you want to display some GIFs in your game, here's a nice tool. You might be aware that Unity has a video player component, but that one only works on video files, so it cannot play GIFs. So this has and helps to solve that. Just one line of code to load any GIF. That GIF can also support alpha, and it even supports screen recording. So if you have some feature in your game, kind of like a game win screen or some highlights, and you want to enable the player to make some GIFs to share them on social media, then this one makes that process extremely easy. It's very simple and does exactly what it's meant to do. All right, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for December 2021. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, check out my own free and paid assets on the store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.